Hi folks, I hope you're doing okay. Uh, it's Saturday the 15th of October. It's what time is it? half one in the afternoon. Uh, and I thought I'd pop on, I've got a few bits to show you. So um, I thought I'd stick the camera on. I have got another video ready to, well, ready to put on the computer. It's not ready to upload yet. Um, I need to work on it. But yes, I've got a couple of videos ready to come up. Um, and the first, well, in the first video, I was making this dude, but he wasn't finished. So this is, um, oh, who's it by? Medam, Mediami. I'll link to her Instagram um, in the notes below, or on my website, which is linked below. Um, so this cute little otter. He's got a little bit, I always think his snout's a bit um, skew with, but. And he's got a little rubber ring with a um, flamingo on it, and he's super cute. Uh, and his little tail, simple feet is. He's so cute. Nothing's really little about him. He's quite a big ammy. Um, so this is all um, Bernat blanket. This is Marini uh, get cosy yarn, and this is either Mariners or the remainder of some Bernat blanket black I had. But this is taupe, and this is. It's either almond or sand, I can't remember. I can't remember which one it is. And this is the Audi pink. Um, so yeah, it's very cute. I'll link the pattern below. It's a paid for pattern. Uh, I don't think it was terribly expensive. Um, but it's really cute. And I love him. He has no no plans. He's just going in there. On, on sale when I do my craft fairs. And then I think I showed you these in the last video. But I've since been asked to make uh, a family of three in red, uh, a big, a medium and a small. So this will be, I can see black from his feet through, so this will be the small. And then I'll double strand for the big and see how big I can get it. And then maybe double strand for the medium, but do it on a smaller hook. I'll just have to see how it goes. Um, but I've had to order some more, had to. Oh shame. Order some more of the Get Cozy from Mariners. It was a bit of a shame they didn't have any black and they didn't have any green. So I can't make any more greens. I've got two of the greens. Um but I don't think I've got enough for another a whole another um gonk gnome to be made out of it. So um but I've ordered some blue, some cream. Because if I've got cream in, I've got cream blanket yarn, but it's the Aldi stuff and it's thinner than the Mariners. So I don't like using them together if I can get, you know, if I don't need to. Um, but then I can do the bobbles for the beards if I've got the cream in the Mariners as well. Um, so I did blue, a couple of the pink, I think, a pink and a purple. Because um, my friend originally asked for blue. Um, gnomes or gonks but I said well I haven't got any and then she was like oh no I could put them in the other room so we're going to do them as door stops I think or at least the big one um, yes yeah, so I'm sure I showed you these in my first one it was just the uh, otter that wasn't finished and I've done some more work on the baby blanket we've just been out uh, Tobin's been spent some of his wages on Lego so I was doing some more on the blanket so it's growing um, what have we got probably 30 centimetres so 12 inches or so so I've still got a way to go um, I'm not sure if I'm going square or somewhere around that I'll, I'll just see how I go because I don't want it to be too heavy because um, it's uh, king cold cotton sorry I don't think king cold cotton's off um, so I think I'm on my third 100 gram ball now Paul um, and then today, the Long Eaton Art Room, which I've been to their sales before. Um, they're doing it every three months at the minute, so I'm there every three months. Uh, and last time I bought four or five cones uh, of maybe four ply double knit yarn. Um, and we went today, Jack got himself a few, because they do, it's a, a penny, a gram of uh, knot cones. Uh, cones a price separately but for all the balls of yarn anything they've used for a craft workshop and they're not finished or whatever um, 
so they just weigh it and price it up so he's got lots of little balls and he's finger knitting them all and then he wants to make some Halloween decorations with he's done like a dark a deep red burgundy um, a little bit of yarn and he's finger knitted all of that and he wants to drape it over the windows or something Tim's like look oh, buy it with pink and make it intestines I'm like delightful <laughs> I'm proud really. <laughs> so today I got uh, some red. It is a little bit thin, but I'm thinking I could double strand this for um, Christmassy things. Uh, it's, it always comes to it, and I never really have much red because I don't buy it because I never use it for Christmas stuff. I can see the arm of that chair, and I keep thinking it's my hair. I have had my hair cut, I just haven't straightened it today because it's the weekend and I can't be bothered. Uh, yeah, so I don't think this says. Oh, four ply red. 100% acrylic. So there's that. Um, some of it seems like, a, like down here I was looking and I was like, that looks, I thought it was close to DK. I can double strand it if I'm only using like red on its own for Christmassy things, I can use, get away with that. Um, so it was four pounds. I haven't weighed it, but it's a decent sized uh, wedge on the cone. And then I got this one. I should not say anything at all inside. This is for ply, but it's like bluey, purpley. Uh, very pretty. So I thought this would make a nice baby blanket or a nice, you know, nice big blanket. Um, yeah, that was four pounds as well. No info inside, but again, a good, good chunk of yarn. Then I saw as we were painting, uh, they got bags of stuff in for a quid. So as I'm going to be making um, big gonks, big gnomes. Um, I thought I'd grab a couple. I only had so much cash with me so I didn't want to get like, I'd have bought a whole bag of them but I thought don't get carried away so probably like 150 grams I don't know but I thought well I'll get a couple and then if I'm, if I have to send up, you know, if I have to order some um, and I'm waiting I've still got a little bit. And then I got some, I saw on their Facebook page, they put some pictures up um, that they got some hooks for sale. So I was like, ooh, I'm using a four mil hook for the blanket and I've got a four mil hook on the four blanket I'm working on. I was like, I could do with another, hello. Sorry, Roxy's sitting. But yeah, so I thought, well, I'll grab a couple of uh, four mils because it always seems to be what I run out of. So. They are like clay wrapped handles. So I got these two because I thought they were pretty. I love this purple. Uh, I don't know if they're millwood, but they're just like the rose goldy aluminium ones. Um, so these were £1.50 each. You can't really uh, go wrong. So I'm not, I've not tried sort of clay handled hooks, but give it a go. There, I, they're a good length, they're not too short or anything. I've only got little hands anyway. But yeah, so I got those two. They can go in my, well, my very full hook case. So many hooks. But I, I'm using quite a lot of different sizes. So um, if I'm doing amigurumi in DK, I'm making a, a Dalmatian for my friend at work at the minute. Her niece has just had a baby. So she wants me to say the date. I think it's a boy the day he was born, but they've got a Dalmatian that the family have. So it's a brown, black and, no, a white and brown one. So I'm doing it in white and brown. It's a B crocheted pattern. And I've just got two, I've, I've changed the muzzle slightly. She didn't want it so round, she wanted it more sort of squared out. So I think I've done it enough, but if not, I'll just pull a few stitches like I've so, you know, I've already sewn it on, but when I finish it, I'll sort of, you know, shape it and push it out. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm working on at the minute, and then I really need to get on craft fair stuff because I've got one on the 19th of November, one on the 11th of December, and then a school one. I'm not sure of the date, I don't think they've fixed it yet. So I'm up to three, and that's not including the scout haul that I did last year. You alright, baby? Roxy, come here. Don't know if she'll let me pick her up. She's so big now. Um, yeah. So, oh, and we went to the library this morning and I picked up 
this. I saw it as I walked in and I thought, ooh. Um, so it's about, yes darling, uh, it's about Penelope, um, the wife of Odysseus. So it sounds all right. It says, this is a story of Penelope of Ithaca, famed wife of Odysseus. As has never been told before, beyond Ithaca's shores, the winds of the gods dictate the wars of men. But on this, on the isle, it is the choices of the abandoned women and their goddesses that will change the course of the world. So, and it's never been stamped. So I thought, well, I'll get it and have a, a look. When did they get it? Oh, they got it on the 14th of September this year. So I thought, I'd give it a go. She looks young. Claire North. So I thought I'd give that a go. I am currently listening to the third Thursday Murder Club book by Richard Osman, uh, The Bullet That Missed. I've just listened to Stephen King's Fairy Tale. Oh, loved it. I love Stephen King anyway. Um, and then I'm read. Come here, darling. I'm reading The Terror. I think it's by Dan Simmons. Uh, but it's a huge book. I'm reading it on my Kindle at night. But I thought, well, I'll pick that up because it's like, ooh, interesting. But this, I think it's the third time I've started reading the Terror. It's about the Terror and the Erebus um, ships that get stuck trying to navigate uh, in the Arctic. And there's something terrorising them on the ice. It's really long. I don't seem to be. I think I'm over halfway now, which is pretty good because the first couple of times I tried to read it, I got to about 4% and thought, uh, uh, so it might get way laid, it depends how into Ithaca I get, but I like stuff like that. I've read um, Circe on the recommendation of Angela, Hi, Ang uh, of Yarn and Yarns, uh, everything will be linked below, she's got a reading, YouTube, uh, reading Instagram as well, so I'll pop that below. Um, and then what did I read, the one by Pat Baker, or is that Circe by Pat Baker? But like the, the mythology sort of um, stories, I like that. The Silence of Girls or something like that, I read that was good. Um, but yes, hello darling. What she's seen. So anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you and um, hopefully get both videos on the computer today, maybe not uploaded today. Um, let's see what they... Oh, <laughs> Tevis just built an Iron Man. You come and show us. Someone show me before I turn the camera off there. Of course, gardening again. Hello people. It's Iron Man. I made my Lego. It's Lego Iron Man. Look how grown up Dave is. It's scary. I'm such a grown up guy. Guy, isn't it? So, yes, this is what he bought. He bought a couple of Iron Man things. Yeah, this is the smallest one of the, of the, the three. I'm technically, I only bought two Iron Man, so the was Iron Monger, but... Technically. Yeah, that's, that's it shoots as well, but I'm not going to shoot it in here because I'll lose no. a piece of paper. Yeah, please don't. Yeah, thank you, Tobes. You're very welcome. He's taller than me now. It's not hard to be taller than me, but <laughs> yeah, he's taller than me. Anyway, I'm going to go because Paul's back inside now and the kids are being noisy, so before all oh, hell breaks loose, I love you and leave you. I hope you're all doing okay. Uh, we're enjoying the last bit of sunshine, I think, for the. No. Where are we? Mid October, so it's not bad. I've got washing out, fingers crossed it actually dries. But yeah, it's a nice day, so I'm going to make the most of it. Right, I will see you again soon. Thank you for watching, and um, yeah, let me know what you're making. Bye, guys.